Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to thank each of you for joining with me uh, with Tuesday's Daily Bible Study coming from Charlene's Outreach Ministries. Our lesson for today, Be Still Before God. Be Still Before God. Come from Psalms 46, verses 1 through 11. Amen. This is a powerful lesson as we are to uh, know that he is God and that he is the one and only God. Amen. We have a great lesson lesson that we're going into, but before we get started, I want to ask if anything is said, touches your heart, soul, or spirit, or you have any questions or comments, please feel free to jot them at the bottom of the screen below, and I will get to them as soon as possible. And also, if you would like prayer, put your name in that you would, would like to request prayer, and I will get to those as well and add you to the prayer list. Amen. Many times I'm not able to uh, respond to the questions as quickly as I would like to, but I do immediately uh, glance through the uh, questions and statements to see if anyone is needed to be added to the prayer list at any time. Amen. So we're going to get ready and get started with this lesson, but first we're going to have prayer. Dear God in heaven, we thank you, Father. We thank you for this day, for this is the day that you have made. Therefore, we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you, Father, that we. this is a day that we've never seen before, and we thank you when we give you honor, glory, and praise. Father, we thank you that you are God Almighty, and beside you there is none other. We thank you that you are wonderful and that you are our our counselor. We thank you, Father, that you are our everlasting Father and our Prince of Peace in the name of Jesus. Lord, you give us peace, a calm mind, even in, in times of distress, even in times of impairment. Amen. We thank you, Father, for being with us and standing by us. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that resides in each of us, Father. We thank you as we woke up this morning that you gave us activities of our limbs and our health and strength. We thank you, Father, for all that you have done, you is doing, and you shall do in each of our lives. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we <clears throat> come before you today, uh, get, uh, getting together as one to study and meditate on your word, Father. We ask that you open our eyes that we see and our ears that we hear, and we gain wisdom, knowledge, and understanding how to walk out and how to to live the life that you have to set aside for us to be set apart from the people of the world, that we are a chosen people and we are set apart from the, the world and we walk as Christians in this world, we are set apart and we, to, we are to make a difference and show a difference in our life. Lord, we give you honor, glory and praise and we thank you for it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, we're going to get ready and move right into our lesson, <clears throat> Be Still Before God. Amen. And as we do this lesson, we're going to split this lesson up in, in half. Um, this one will be split up in half. Uh, Psalms 46, verses 1 through 11, but we'll do 1 through 5 and then 6 through 11, uh, speaking on it and then uh, reading the commentary on the lesson. Amen. And the scripture lesson text, reading starting at verse 1 through 5, to the chief musician for the sons of Korah, a song upon Al Alamoth. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. Selah. There is a river. The streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, and she shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right, right early. Amen, amen. This is a powerful statement reminding us that in whatever trials and tribulations that we are going through, that if we lean and depend on God, if we call on him, then he is there for us. Amen. The uh, commentary says this psalm encourages us to hope and trust in God, in his power and providence, and his gracious presence with his church. In the worst of it, uh, in the worst of times, we may apply it to spiritual enemies and the encouragement we have that through Christ we shall be conquerors over them. He is a help 
a present help, a help found, one whom we ha we have found to be so, a help at hand, one that is always near. We cannot desire a better, uh, nor shall we ever find the like in any creature. Let those be touched, be troubled at the troubling of the waters who build their confidence on a floating foundation. But let not those be alarmed who are led to the rock and there find a firm footing. And so here is a joy to the church. Even in sorrowful times, the river alludes to the grace and consolations of the Holy Spirit, which flow through every part of the church. And though God's scarred ordinances gladden the heart of every believer, it is promised that the church shall not be moved. If God be in our hearts by his word dwelling richly in us, we shall be established. We shall be helped. Let us trust and not be afraid. Amen. Uh, verses 6 through uh, 11 says, The heathen raged, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow, and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Be still, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge once and as we as we know this in our heart if we know this in our spirit if we know this in our life and cling to him then we do walk with him amen it says selah amen praise the lord commentary says come and see the effects of desolating judgments and stand in awe of god this shows the perfect sanctuary of the church and is an assurance of lasting peace Peace. Let us pray for the speedy approach of these glorious days and in silent submission, let us worship and trust in our almighty sovereign. Amen. Let all believers triumph in this, that the Lord of hosts, the God of Jacob, has been, is, and will be with us and will be our refuge. Mark this. Take the comfort and say, if God be for us, who can be against us? With this, through fire and in death, let us answer every fear that if God is for me, who can be for me? In fire and in death, no matter what we're going through, no matter what the outcome is, if God is for us, who can be against us? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I pray you meditate on this wonderful lesson and have a wonderful and blessed day. God bless you.